The Best of Scissor Bros Volume 1 is now available with classics like we Korean. We love you cause you're Korean. Why won't Walk Jeremiah? Is, he is in the room. If you married me, Please have you'd sex really with be my his sister. brother. Then you wouldn't have to have sex with my mother. Gerald, Gerald. the giraffe god. Gerald, the king of this pod. Gerald, I would eat your poo. Run with you till the end of days. I'll be your wingman, and I'll help you get laid. Tenga, Tenga egg. egg. Tenga egg. He used the egg. I wanna and go full vampire. full vampire. I wanna go full vampire. 34 I wanna of your go favorite tracks. Full vampire with you. Download now on all audio platforms and pre-order your vinyl today. Let's get your scissor bros to number one on the charts. Okay, I'm fully submerged. Oh, oh, sh Scissor Brothers! If it isn't Stevie Daywalker Lee. Yes, yes, yes. I am up, and it's uh, early afternoon. Uh, I'm already on two Red Bulls. You, we both sound like we have morning voice. Oh, I guess I do. Yeah. At least you showered. Didn't you shower? Oh, your boy showered today. Your boy didn't shower today. Well, good to know. Krusty, crusty, crusty Lee. Krusty Krabs? Not crust. Oh, why'd you have crabs? Yeah, you know, like there SpongeBob. ain't no crabs involved here. Ain't no crabs involved. No, 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 like SpongeBob. Oh, I like your little angles. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Scissor Bros, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Yes, baby. Moving all the angles. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um. Now I got um hit up um by a special. Uh, lady friend that I have on the East Coast there. I just want to give her a little shout out. That's my lovey doveys out there in PA. She sent me a personality wait, test. Wait, thing. what do you? What do well, you? I kind of went into my own. No, no, no. Yeah, well, what do you? What do you? What did you just do? Who, what do you mean your lovey doveys? What are you? What are you talking about? My spe my special lady friend that I'm seeing on the East Coast. Is that more clear? Yeah, that's kind of breaking news for the podcast. Don't go looking for her either, dude. This is my thing. Let's <laughs> just respect my privacy. Respect everyone's privacy. Okay. But you, I mean, you opened the show with giving her a shout out. That's a pretty big deal. Didn't say her name. I know you didn't say her name. They know what state. They know that it's on the East Coast and what state and that's it. I met her. She's very nice. Ooh, that was, a, that was more information that you needed to, to give them right there. <laughs> I can't say that? Oh. Uh, yeah, because people will also get, huh? Oh, so it must have been, uh, <laughs> let's see if the Scissor Bros were on the, let's see what, what, what were they, when, what date they were on the East Coast. Oh, let me see. <laughs> now, 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 the Midwest doesn't count because that's Minnesota. And, oh, well, you said not P Virginia. You said so, PA. So, 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 we oh, did, did I say that? You said PA, All and right, we PA. did a show in okay. PA. My lovely lady in PA, this one's for you. Oh, personality test. She. I think threw, we got to do a song. I think we'll get to the personality test after you just you dropped got that something? bomb on me. I now got a I good, do. I got a good sound on here. You got something? Yeah. You, on your mind? Oh, I, I got something do it from on my your mind. Heart. No, no, it's going to be from the heart. It's from your. Right here. Deep. Right? Deep. Deep. We're talking in the right aorta, the left ventricle the and the right is aorta. The heart's the heart. The heart's the heart. Mm, has a lot of different chambers. Just like Wu-Tang. And here we go. <laughs> Off the market. He 
he's got a lady <laughs> And soon He'll have a Mercedes <laughs> If you flaunt it You got it And if you want it You bought it Stevie Stevie He's the man Don't go doing that research Cause this is a top secret event He's gonna sin so much He's gonna have to put up so much for Lent He's getting it on with one girl. And who knows, this girl could be his new world. He could take her on a magic carpet ride. And one day eventually make her his bride The potential is off the charts Unless he shards Beautiful song! Yeah. I like the theme, That it's goes out fresh. to Stevie's girl? Yeah. In a private way. Uh, so, uh, what would you title that song? I know that was an impromptu improv, to improv song, but what would you call it? Just what's the first thing that comes to mind? Off the market. I know, that was what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah, off the market. Yeah. Um. So personality test. Yeah. I told you to take yours. I had previously <laughs> taken mine. When we, when I greeted Steve today, <laughs> he said, "Hey, uh, my girl sent me this personality test. Um, I want you to take it to see what happens when you take the test. What percentages you are." and what personality type you are, I think it'd be good for our friendship on this podcast to know what we're working with together. And I said, okay, I'll take this thing. Took me about five, six minutes. Um, Do you an answer an honestly? Yeah, of course. You looked at, and then you saw the chart as far as agreeable or disagreeable, all that? Yeah. And if you didn't if you didn't feel a certain way, you, you were in the middle? Yeah, I, I, put some, uh, I put some answers in the middle. Okay, so... Should I reveal you? Rev should I reveal my type? Reveal yours. Because uh, there's a name. Yeah, there's a name. Okay, for my your personality, personality type. type is called the Advocate. Parentheses I N F dash J dash T. And and uh, it's uh, yeah, it's called Advocate. Um, so what's, it's more it's 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 as someone with with the introverted, intuitive feeling and judging personality. So traits. how? What's your percentage of introvert? Introverted uh, is 73%. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah. You're a big introvert. Hermit. The crab. Another crab. Crabs is the theme of this episode. No, it's not. Let's just say hermit. Okay. Um, intuitive, 72%. <laughs> okay. Feeling, 61%. Judging, 72%. Turbulent, 75%. Role, diplomat, strategy, constant improvement. And then you you go down you you say your type now, mm. and then we'll go through the descriptions of each. Uh, it says my personality type is executive. Hello, <laughs> CFO CEO. I love it. Oh my goodness! Go ahead, keep going. It says that I'm eighty two percent extroverted. The yin and the yang strikes once again. Oh oh my god! Keep going. Yeah. Uh, it says I'm 52% observant versus 48% intuitive. So my energy is somewhere in the middle. It says the trait shows where we direct our mental energy. And I'm 52% ob observant and 48% intuitive. An advocate INF is someone with the introverted intuitive feeling and judging personality traits. They tend to approach life with deep thoughtfulness and imagination. Their inner vision personal values and a quiet principled version of humanism guide them in all things um advocates are are the rarest personality types of all you're rare rarest 
Advocates leave their mark on the world. You're like they the 152nd Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Pokemon. Advocates leave their mark on the world. They have a deep sense of idealism and integrity, but they aren't idle dreamers. They take concrete steps to realize their goals and make a lasting impact. Advocates, you, you know, there's a whole description. Oh, I, I just, they just emailed it to me. Can, okay, so I, I'll leave. I just said my first paragraph, then you describe yours. Scissor Brothers! Hey guys, just want to let you know that the Scissor Bros comedy music album is out on all platforms. We're also going to be in San Jose, April 6th at the Improv, so get your tickets now. Finally, here are some cool executive insights from our research. According to surveys, executives are most likely personality types too. Be known as someone who can get things done. Hello. Enjoy directing other people. Hello, number two. I want to, I've been directing things for a long time. I want to direct like longer form things. Oh, I know. I know your, your shtick. Is that a word? Yeah. I you know, know your shtick. Shtick. Well, when you say it like that, it makes me question whether it's a word too, but it is a word. I know your shtick. Shtick. I know your shtick. Yeah. Um, have fixed bed and wake up times. Mm, that one's not. Consider themselves patriotic. Enjoy working out. Ooh, they kind of they kind of dropped off on the last yeah, few. For yeah, yeah, last two negative. Yeah, negative, negative, negatory. Um, as far as can I get the, the, the directing? I just want to before we move on with the directing. Yeah. Can am I right or wrong? Can you picture yourself like directing? A uh, like Wes Anderson type comedy movie where you get to cast your own peoples. I knew it. I freaking knew it. Yep, absolutely. By the way, uh, can I give you a little compliment here? Uh, great. My favorite. You just did a skit with Jesse uh, Johnson. Yeah. That was, I like that. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that was both great performance on both ends. That's both. something I directed. See what I'm saying? There you go. My buddy Chris McMillan. You came up with that idea? Mm-hmm. And then the whole, the, the marijuana, hey, hey, brother. We we riffed out that together, Jesse and I, yeah. You riffed it to, out together? Yeah, yeah. But you directed it? Yeah. And I rest my case. My buddy Chris McMillan is a really, really good DP. Shout out to Christopher McMillan. Yeah. Keep going, yeah. Yep. He, he's a guy who came with us to film the Scissor Bros live in Irvine. That's Chris. Oh, that's our boy. I know, I know. Oh, I love Chris. He's great. Shout out to Chris. Love Chris. So this shows me strengths and weaknesses and stuff like that too. Go ahead, dude. Keep going. <coughs> I mean, there's a lot going on here. Right, let me let me let me do one paragraph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Advocates' unique combination of personality traits make them complex and quite versatile. For example, advocates can speak with great passion and conviction, especially when standing up for their ideals. At other times, however, they may choose to be soft-spoken and understated, preferring to keep the peace rather than challenge others. That's mm. interesting. They use the word challenge. Standing up for what's right. Advocates generally strive to do what's right. Okay. Okay. And they want to help create a world where others do the right thing as well. Yeah. People with this personality type may feel called to use their strengths, including creativity, imagination, and sensitivity to uplift others and spread compassion. That's what Scissor Bros is all about, my friend. Spreading compassion. Holy moly guac. And speaking of that, didn't you run into some Scissor siblings at Ralph? Oh, yeah. Tell them about it. You told I, me right before. I went before. at night and just, yeah, it was, um, yeah, just two dudes, like, in different parts of the grocery store. One guy um, hit me up when I was coming in. Another guy hit me up when I was checking out. Did they know each other? No. Wow. But the guy that um, hit me, uh caught me checking out um did it when he was leaving like it was like more it was like i was leaving and i was like you know because i bring my backpack and right when i put all my stuff in my backpack leaving he goes susan bros this is the shit i go and i just kind of i don't know how to respond i just i usually just go yeah thank you know do you do one of these no not, not, not no not at the grocery store 
Mm. I go kind of, I get, I go, I give him one of these. Like, Annie Letterman <laughs> made fun wait, of me. Think, think about it. <laughs> I don't, she, I don't want, no, ne- go ahead. She made fun of me because at the comedy store, like somebody said, hey, Susan Bros. I go, hey, what's up guys? And she goes, you do that to people who know you? I go, yeah, it's like, we, we do should it we just start doing that? Huh? Should we just start doing that? I do it out of instinct. Can I we do, do it? it out of can instinct. we do it out of covert? Can we do it in a more more covert way? What do you mean? I want the world to know, baby. No, so like you could do this, go like this, like we could do a little. Oh, like if, or yeah, or like a like oh, do one of these. Illuminati do one of these. sign. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, that's like you know, but like see, Fight Club. But Steve, the, what I don't the like about club. that, you know what I don't like about what do you, that? What am I? I'm gonna be at Ralph. I'm gonna be at the grocery store going like this at the grocery store. Listen, go ahead. All the other podcasts would want to do this, Steve. The that's every other podcast. You're right. Cool that's and the cool guy thing. We're not the cool We're subtle the, guys. The, the Revenge of the hey. nerds. Revenge, Revenge of the, the nerds. Nerds. Revenge, Revenge, of, the nerds. Revenge of the nerds. Revenge of the nerds. Nerds. I think We're we should nerds. do. I, I think we should do some uh, nerd scissors right now. Yes. Uh huh. But you're gonna. Oh, we can't. You want to do Revenge of the nerds? <laughs> Ready? Oh, 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 sorry, Darren. Okay, so ready? Oh, this is, I don't know why this is so these hard are the, for me. These are the Revenge of the Nerd Scissors. You have to get your bifocals ready. Ready? Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, two, two, three. three. My <laughs> hands aren't bending four. like that today. Five, five <laughs> six, 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 seven, seven eight, 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 nine, 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 ten. ten. Ow, okay. Terrence is cutting me. Yeah. Mm. How you, how's this guy doing? How you, how's your day going, Gerald? We have to, you know. What are your feelings about you being on a t-shirt? Same with you, Terrence. How, how do you guys feel about it? I want to know where my cut is, bitch. Where's our mm. residuals? Oh. Mm. Um. Yeah, you should, mm. get, you should get a cut. Uh, we didn't really... Really think about that. Okay, um, I'm gonna sue your ass. It doesn't really need money. No. What do you mean I don't need money? You get the draft. I'm like food. fucking thirty kids. I got. You know feed. how to take care of that. And then he just needs fertilizer, water. Yeah, yeah. Let's not discuss business with uh, Terrence and Gerald there. Okay. Awkward. Dude, I can't believe you got a girlfriend. Hey, let's not let's not get crazy. I mean, we have did we already kind of mention that, right? No, we did, but yeah, it's a long distance thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool, yeah. man. When was the last time you were in a relationship? A year, over a year. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That feel good. Yeah, I mean, we're taking it. You know, we're taking it as it comes, and uh, yeah. yeah, we're having fun. Yeah. We're having fun, man. That's great. Yeah, I'm really happy for you, dude. Because what I will say is, you have been, you've been really happy. Really? Yeah. And I've been masturbating less. That's my brother over there. You don't, yeah, man. You you don't feel the need to as much. I did last night, though. My boy's back, baby. (laughs) I'm human. I know. It's nature to do it. Yeah. We got to bust nuts. Listen, we got to bust nuts. Future shirt? I'll think about that one. (laughs) I will think about that one. But that's a catchy phrase. We gotta bust nuts. I mean... Scissors splash. That seems like more of a a bumper sticker that would go on the back of a truck. Good point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Weaknesses. Should I read my weaknesses? Yeah, why don't you? Let's get vulnerable. Huh? Executive weaknesses. <coughs> Ooh, inflexible and stubborn. Uncomfortable with unconventional situations. Judgmental. Ooh, too focused on social status. Ooh, difficult to relax. Difficulty expressing emotion. Ooh. It's like God's coming in him in this place himself and talking to you. Keep going. Can I breed some strengths now? No, let's st- stick on what you're doing right there. No, that was all of them. I read all the negativity. Uh, you know what? I got to read my negative, though. Okay, we'll you cleanse can't be out the, the negativity. One. What? Well, Where'd yeah. you see that? Where, where's the negative? It goes on. It's under the strengths and weaknesses tab. 
Ooh, sensitive to criticism. Oh, interesting. Do, do we like let me read them off? Then you could comment. Oh, you want me to wait? You wait, want me to think I'm about for it? You. you want me to think about it? Think about it. Sensitive, sensitive to criticism. Reluctant, reluctant to open up. Perfectionist. Ooh. Um. Avo- that, hold up. Avoiding the ordinary. I'm gonna step in. You're not a perfectionist. There are exceptions to the rule. Okay. These are. This You're is not- a perfection. Here's what I'll say. You are a perfectionist with music stuff. Oh, like far- with rap and stuff oh, like that. As far as the beats and yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. You'll yeah, spend yeah, yeah, hours yeah. on that oh, because yeah, you're yeah, obsessed yeah, yeah, with yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. Avoiding the ordinary, prone to prone to burnout, and oh. that's it. Oh, prone to burnout. I don't like that one. <laughs> I'm not. Do you think I'm gonna burn out doing this, dude? I told you I'm in. The, we're in the marathon together. Now yeah. go to your week. Go to your strengths. Okay, we'll go to our strengths now. Yeah. Okay, strengths. Dedicated. Uh-huh. Strong-willed. Direct and honest. Loyal, patient, and reliable. Enjoy creating order. Excellent organizers. I mean, this whole that you're a great organizer. You're great at that. Uh, Mines are creative. Okay. Insightful. Yeah. Principled. I don't. I don't even know what that means. You work at a school. Principled. People with the advocate personality type tend to have deeply held beliefs and their conviction often shines through when they speak or write about subject matters that matter to them. It's your passion with movies and stuff like that. Oh, right, 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 right. Passionate. It just, the next one, you just, that's crazy. You said passionate. There you go. Passionate, altruistic. Advocates generally aim to use their strengths for the greater good. They rarely enjoy succeeding at other people's expense. They tend to think about how their actions affect others. See, brother? I'm not all bad. Altruistic. Oh, go to romantic. There's another thing. Okay. And then romantic we'll move, then relationships. We'll on, then just move on. But this is interesting, right? I, I think, you know, I think. Oh, let's to have them take. If you're at home. Oh, yeah. Give them the link that they yeah, can go to, do it Okay. On. If you're at home, type in the number 16personalities.com. 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 And take this test at home to see what. 16personalities.com. Uh, yeah. What type you are. Okay, go to romantic, then we'll move on. Well, it says for me, executives are fairly unique in that their relationships don't really change as they progress from the dating phase into more steady long-term relationships and further into marriage. Because they value honesty and straightforwardness so highly, people with the executive personality type are likely to be clear about who they are, what they're like, and what their goals are from the start, and to stick to those statements long-term. So long as their partner is able to take them at their word and follow suit, they are bound to be extremely stable relationships. I mean, that is like, literally, I had a talk with my wife way long before we even started dating. I was like, this comedy thing is pretty serious. Like, I'm going to be gone a lot. You know what I mean? Like, we had that talk. Like, Like, I'm going to be out at night. I'm going to be missing, like, certain things that I, that you may want me there at. Like, it's a commitment. Yeah, and she's really been mindful and understandable about that. Yeah, yeah. Advocates tend to take the process of finding a romantic partner seriously. People with this personality type look for depth and meaning in their relationships, preferring not to settle for a match that's found on anything less than true love. It could take time for advocates to find a compatible partner. Some people might think advocates are too choosy, and it's true that these these personalities can have unrealistic expectations. Some advocates might hold out for a perfect partner or a relationship that ultimately doesn't exist. Shall we move on? Yeah. Okay. Um, Our buddy Shanks hit me up recently. Oh, that's the homie. Yeah. Yeah. What did he say? What's going on with him? He's one of the, uh, um, <coughs> he's one of the escaped uh, convicts, one of the prisoners. Mm-hmm. Um, he's in and out of jail a lot. Mm-hmm. But anyway, he appears on the show a lot. He was at the Scissor Bros uh, PA live show. Mm-hmm. Um, he booked a gig. He booked like an acting gig. He did? Yeah. Yeah, pretty crazy. How is he going to get out of prison to, to to film it? Oh, he's real good about escaping. He could escape. He can escape. How many days he wants. of shooting? It was just one. He told me all about it. We yeah. love Shanks. Whatever Shanks is on, support Shanks. Yeah, this. You might see him in a, on a future show, yeah, the, live show, or the, something. The Sklar Bros have like a a sketch show that's coming out on UFC Fight Pass. 
and they included Shanks in one of the sketches. That's awesome. Isn't that cool? Can you... Who are the Scholar Bros? The Scholar Bros are very funny comedians um, that you guys should be following. They're great. And they direct stuff or they book uh, stuff? Well, uh, their buddy Jay Larson uh, directed the uh, the episode. And they're like the creators of the show. And they're, and they're like a writing team. That's great. Yeah, it's cool. That's great. Yeah. Can I can I wish this upon you? I wish Shank all, Shanks all the future success. Uh-huh. I also wish one day you do direct your your ideal comedy movie where you have the budget to do what you want. Ooh, okay, yes. buddy? On some Jordan Peele shit. Yeah. Ooh. By the way, speaking of Jordan Peele, are you looking forward to that, that nope. sci-fi movie, Nope? Nope. Nope. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes to Did nope. Did you see the trailer? Yes. Steven Yeun, our, our boy Steven Yeun's in there. Bro. The most handsomest, handsomest of the Korean peoples. And you know it. Mirror, mirror on the wall. He's a heartthrob. Who's the prettiest Asian of them all? Steven Yeun. Steven Yeun. Steven Yeun. Steven Yeun. Chiseled. You Handsome. just said his name three times like you were hoping he would appear like Beetlejuice shirtless in the studio. <laughs> Let's edit that out, okay, buddy? Okay, we'll edit that back in. Okay. Okay. So tune in to Nope. Yeah. 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 Is there anything else? What are we missing? What do you mean? We got a I lot mean, of stuff, dude. Didn't you just go to Cantor's? Uh, oh, yeah. Didn't you just go? Because we were dude, a fan of Cantor's, right? I got to tell you about this. Yeah, go okay. ahead. Go ahead. So I haven't been to a traditional open mic in a while. Um, <laughs> I've been uh, fortunate to be busy on the road with uh, with gigs and stuff like that and spots around town. But somebody hit me up and they were like, hey, will you come by Cantor's? At nighttime. Uh, at nighttime to do. Because I know what you're talking about. A, uh, like a booked uh, a spot on the open mic. Will you come do my open mic? It's in that bar area. Yeah, the kibitz room. Yeah. They're like, will you come do a spot in the kibitz room on my open mic? And I go, yeah, absolutely. If I'm free, if people reach out for shows and I'm free, I'll, I'll do it around LA. It doesn't matter where it's at. Like I, I'm always happy and grateful to get up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, so they hit me up and they're like, yeah, you know, like, well, I'll even get, uh, like, it comes with a sandwich. I was like, really? For the open mic? I'll definitely do that. That sounds great. Really? When, when is the open mic? It was, uh, this one was uh, Tuesday at se like six o'clock or something like that. I went on a little after seven. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I closed it And how does it work? Is it, it a out. potluck? Or? They sign up and stuff like that. It's they a sign up, up thing. Okay. So I did it. I hadn't been to an open mic in a while. It rocked me a little bit. I was like, because I was bombing, you know? Like, so I was like, I was just like, had to like take it. You know what I mean? Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? I was saying jokes and then just getting nothing. And, but these, some of the jokes that I had done, like they work at shows. So I was just like waiting for laughs, but they never came. And I was like, uh, oh, all right. <laughs> now, are you doing that internally? Or are you doing, you, you do, that's an internal It's dialogue. mainly internal. <coughs> I riffed a little bit about it because like there's a waitress taking a loud order and stuff. And like, there's just a lot going on there. And it had been a minute since I had been to an open mic. And it was, yeah. it was really good for me because I was like, I need to do more of these because it, they're really hard rooms. They make you tougher. Um, um, now, are the are there any regular fans watching or is there other comics watching? There are two guys in the back that were like, yeah, I don't know why those people up front weren't uh, laughing at your stuff. I liked it. It was two random dudes. Just and, a random dude. And in the front were all comics. That's why they weren't laughing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was good. And then That's I got, good. Then I, I, I took the sandwich home and ate it for lunch today. It was great. That was a huge highlight. I had, a yeah. I had a bomb sandwich. No, I mean, I, I'm sure it wasn't a bomb It wasn't bomb. a bomb bomb. But yeah. it was, if I wasn't a well-equipped comic, it would have been a nightmare. Because it had been a long time since I'd done it. Oh, d d what are well, the major differences? Well, like, there's a huge difference, right? Well, when you're leaning into jokes that even have, like, you've done even once or twice that you know get a little something and it doesn't get anything at all, it just messes up with your timing because you're... Does like, it really mess up with your timing? Yeah. Oh, because that's a part of it. You're like, okay, laugh, then move here. Right. Laugh, then move yeah, here. Yeah, you're literally having to reconstruct wow. everything in the it's moment. It's science, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm glad you did that. Do you think I should do that, Mike? To get... So no. Oh. I don't want you to run away again. Oh, because that's gonna... 
I, I gotta give you i gotta get you in good rooms for the time being because if i that's get that's a rough if is, i get is you, that is that rougher than the lab yeah yeah dude yeah you still did a show your lab thing that you were like terrified about that's still a show oh this that's, is an open mind yeah wow yeah i want it i'm telling you i want i want to get you back involved and stand up on the spot okay brother let's say you know i told you i'm open to it i you know what i commend you for doing that yeah you didn't have to do that but you did yeah and that's cool you did that you know you probably helped the show what you probably helped that show at the canters that was fun yeah i mean i, I, yeah. I don't know about that but yeah yeah uh i think we, we both have been dealing lately i think you can hear it in my voice <coughs> and i can hear it in your cough uh we're both dealing with allergies right now oh in a mate you know around this time of month i mean this time of year this month yeah because i get it from my mom my mom like you know i was he get it from his mama he get, get it, it from, from his mama. mama allergies allergies get it from my mom my oma my oma get it from my mom he get um, it from oma uh, from uh, a uh, very uh, young uh, age uh, uh, and then and get what arizona don't get hit it him from wrong my mom. he get korean get it from my rage mom. get it from his mama get it from his mama claritin d claritin d claritin Dude. What, dude? Did you get the tickets for Coachella yet? No, I thought you did. You know how much I want to see the Suicide Boys, man. Dude, I love the Suicide Boys, and you know that, but I hate buying tickets. Well, we got a huge group. I got Molly. I'm ready to rock and roll, man. Well, maybe we should use a new service called Fanimal. Fanimal? What's that, man? Scissor Bros is thrilled to welcome our new sponsor, Fanimal. Cool, man. So what are some of the perks, bro? Well, Fanimal's patented group purchase makes it easy. First, you set a minimum size for your group and choose the number of tickets you want to pay for yourself. Are there fees? No, there's no hidden fees or anything like those Dude, other ticket there's companies. there's no fees. Dude, there's no fees. Rock on, bro. Then you invite your friends, and when the minimum size is met, everyone gets charged and receive their ticket. If the minimum size isn't reached in time, nobody gets charged. Wait a minute. If you don't set the minimum requirement, you're telling me no one gets charged, bro? And there's no fees like every other ticketing site in human existence. Well, let me throw a hypothetical, bro. What if I want to see a basketball game? That's not a rock concert, man. Yeah, but you can go see the Lakers. You can go see Dave Chappelle. You can go see any kind of ticket things uh, that you need to buy and it's not a problem. Uh, you just blew my mind. Uh, right, uh, man. Uh, Go to uh, Fanimal uh, today, uh, bro. Oh, yeah. And Fanimal has amazing customer service. Don't take my word for it. Check out their hundreds of five-star reviews, bro. The next time you need tickets, go to Fanimal.com and sign up with Scissor Bros for $20 of credit toward your first purchase. Check out Fanimal and experience more. All right. Rock on, bro. Rock on. Woo! Ooh, yeah. Keep going. Yeah. <coughs> Fanimo. Fanimo. Um, Claritin D. Uh. Shout out to our our buddy Craig. He you mean he the gave angel, me a bit, huh? our guardian angel, Craig? our guardian angel Craig, gave me information because I was Love Craig. I was uh, looking for over the counter, and he goes, "You don't know what Claritin D?" I go, "No." He goes, "You got to get Claritin D because there are different Claritins." He's right. like, "The D, you got to get the D one." And the, the, but the, this is the kicker. You don't. You can't just get it on the aisle. You have to go to the pharmacy. Oh. You have to go to the actual pharmacist, sign for it. Wow. And you can only get a certain amount because because you can't like because there's there's like a fifth. The most is the fifteen pack. You can't go back and get another one. They they have you on a list. Well, Craig knows you well. He knows that you know you always do better with the D. He get it from his mama. He get it from his mama. The Claritin D. The Claritin D. Stevie Wee B. Yeah. Stevie Wee B. The reason being is because there's an ingredient in that Claritin D where you can make. Dude, 
You can no, you can make meth. You can make meth off of it. There's that ingredient where you know, like those things you can get at truck stops. Like there's an ingredient in that Claritin D that you can make meth or something. Mm. Don't quote me on that, but okay, he mentioned that. So what do you get? What what kind of um, symptoms do you get? <coughs> I, just, I have this cough. I've been coughing a lot and just <coughs> hacking stuff up. Like and mucus. I, yeah, and I've been and I've taken a COVID test. I'm good, but it's just, I did it's just I allergy took two. stuff. Like I took, I'm, I'm negative. I yeah. took, I did took one last week. I took yeah, the dog. one week week before. Yeah, dog. So do you think it's allergies? Yeah, I, I definitely think it is. When do when do you think yours goes away? Are you taking anything for yours? No. What? The only thing I'm taking is like throat lozenges, hum in my throat. And what what lozenge, what, what drops do you use? What cough drops? Like Mucinex or something like that. So that's a medicine. Mu- Mucinex is, it's a pill. No, throat lozenges. So Mucinex guess, makes throat lozenges? Mm-hmm. They make those. They strong. You got some here? Yeah, I'll give you some. Okay. You're going to forget you have a throat. Oh, does it numb it out? No, yeah. I need to, something to break up the mucus up here, upper respiratory. Yeah, like Mucine- up here. you should get Mucinex like the, the syrup or the pills. <coughs> Cover your mouth, dude. I don't want Sorry, your pink guy. Okay, so I guess, yeah, take Claritin D. I went to an allergist as well. So um, I got on the um, Flonase. Have you heard of Flonase? Uh, I've heard of Flonase. Have you taken Flonase? I didn't know uh, they sold it at Target. You could get Flonase at Target. I got a prescription, but it wasn't Flonase once. I got a prescription yeah. too. But it's the same ingredients that's in Flonase. Hmm. You take that? Hmm. Okay, so you're not taking any of the stuff to get you better. Mm-mm. Okay, why do you keep looking down? Um, so if you're out there, uh, go to an allergist or take Flonase or a Claritin D. I don't know what else to say. I'm prescribing them. Wait, Dr. Stevie just no. rolled into the office. No, oh, I mean... he rolled his sleeves up. He's about to wash his hands and... No, it's just a little... Oh, yeah, it's a little hot to... in here. It's a little stuffy in here. You're right. You know, I told you that... On so on nights where we record, Steve will come over when it's fifty degrees and wear shorts, and then he rolls up today, one of the hottest days in L.A. in forever, full beanie, long sleeved and pants. I go, brother, why I wouldn't you wear some shorts, <laughs> like your boy? I don't know. It just your boy has some freaking I sliders. I don't know. I mean, I don't Sharon seldomly Stone do this style. Am I even wearing anything underneath here? Or is it just legs? And What's then going I'm on? I'm fully equipped for the Arctic. And you know what Steve said when I told him all that as like a as a as a tip? He goes, I like it warm. But then that's it's interesting you brought that up because even in my apartment I had two heaters blasting and I think that aided to the allergies. Yeah. Because I'm blowing you hot heaters air. Heaters blasting I have at dust night. air floating, you know. So I, the humidifier, going back to my Vicks humidifier is helping me i think hmm. did you guys like our by the way did you guys like our um episode last week with zach ass and, and benny comment below comment below if you oh, like that it, and just in general if you want to go ahead and comment below if you really want to see us do our uh, haunted house content oh yeah okay. yeah that was cool and comment below if you we don't want to get into a habit of doing it too often but Every once in a while, we'll, we like to have guests on. If there's a guest that you think that would fit really well with the show, comment below with their name and maybe even tag them on either YouTube or Instagram or something like that. Let them know like they should do this or something like that. That'd be cool. Okay, I'm going to put you on the spot. What? Just off the top of your head, three dream guests for Scissor Bros. Let me go. You go. I go. You go. Okay, can I do number one? Mm-hmm. Number one guest. Jim Carrey. Oh, baby. Jim Carrey. We would, do, go- we would do a painting challenge with him. Oh, yes. Your turn. Steve Martin. They have to be alive. Huh? Oh, is he alive? Easy. What the frick? Yeah, he's still alive. He's still alive. I will cry when he passes away. He is. I love Does Steve Martin. Does he hold a special yeah, space in your heart? Yeah, I love Steve Martin. Does he hold a special? Yes. I hope to meet him someday. He does. I met Jim Carrey once, and that was one of the highlights of everything. You met Jim Carrey? Yeah. I told you that a while ago, right? No, you didn't. Please tell me. It's too long of a story to even get into right now. Give me the cliff notes. 
I da 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 done. Okay, I met him at an SNL after party. Ooh, when uh, Joe Biden got nominated president of the United States. Okay, was he nice? Yes. He was, his energy was positive. And we'll it? talk about that on the next Scissor Bros. Okay. I'll get into it on the next Scissor okay. Bros. I'll let me do, let me do guest number two and then you just do two. You, I do one, you do one, done. Yeah. Joaquin Phoenix. Great. That'd be fun. If you're out there, Joaquin, <laughs> Joaquin, <laughs> listen to me. I love your work, man. I've always been a fan. Yeah, just consider us, okay? Go ahead. Number two. Another guest for me? Just number two, and then we're done. Yeah. Oh. You just said Steve Martin. That's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I said Jim and Joaquin. Go ahead. Ooh. Ooh. Just what, whatever pops up in your in your brain. I'm trying to think of, of who would be a really good fit for this show. Like I said, whatever pops up. Yeah. What is your heart saying? I really want Steve-O to do this show. Really? Yeah, I want to do a challenge with Steve-O. Steve-O? And I know Steve-O. I've asked him to do the show. I've texted him. You have? Yeah. He was very nice. He's like, I'm busy right now. I can't do it. But Steve, if you're out there, come on, man. We love you. I love Steve. Yeah, we we love Steve. Yeah. Steve, please. <laughs> We've been here. Rick's been here. Come on. Yeah, man. Family. Hey. Please. Zach S just did it. Huh? We're, get, we're getting the Zach did we're, we're it. Rachel. Our... And you just had Rachel on yours. Yeah, Rachel you Wilson just did Jeremiah Wilson Wonders. On Jeremiah, Jeremiah yeah. Wonders. Yeah. Come on, dude. We're paying Perfect respect fit. to the Jackass crew, baby. <clears throat> Nothing but respect. Nothing but love and respect. Yeah. I think we need to do a dance break. It's getting a little toasty in here. Um, can we do it sitting down, though? Because I'm kind of trapped here. We're going to do it outside. Oh, you are going to be real upset with me right now. I forgot the music. Can I add it in later? Absolutely. Okay, great. Can we do a lower back pain dance? Are you having back pain? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Five. Five. Four. four three. three. Two, one. Oh, my sciatica. Oh, my vertebrae. Oh, I think I pinched something. <laughs> Do you have back pain at home? Dance along with us and give that lumbar some support. Give your friends some lower <laughs> lumbar support. <laughs> give your friends some lower lumbar support. <laughs> Yeah. Are you doing at home with us? We hope you are. In there a little bit, huh? <laughs> Why did she get you? Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. That was a good dance break. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, I got approached by this company recently. Very interesting, guys. I want to want to talk to you guys about this because we've hinted at this in earlier episodes that Steve and I really wanted to go to Korea, right? Anywhere in Asia. Anywhere in Asia. Tokyo would be dope. Yeah. Yeah. Thailand. Yeah. Vietnam. Yeah. yeah. Cambodia. Yeah. yeah. China. So this company yeah. hits me up. That's a trip planning company, and they follow Scissor Bros and stuff like that, and. Uh, they hit us up with a very interesting proposal. One of the places on there, that uh, the places where they go for their trips, is Seoul, Korea, and they wanted us to ask our audience, you guys, uh, do a little temperature check, and we want to know if we planned a Scissor Bros Korea trip with our Scissor siblings. How many of you? would commit to something crazy like that. They told me that realistically, like it would, it's like, it's like a, it's a kind of expensive trip, but we would basically have a tour guide w w with an itinerary. We'd have free time. And then we'd also basically, Steve and I would be like, basically chaperoning the trip with you guys. We'd be going everywhere with you guys. <laughs> Boat rides, waterfalls, mm. markets, Mm -hmm. food museums all kinds of different crazy things over in korea would you guys be interested in doing something like that 
I just the only concern, and we kind of kind of brush past this real quick. Uh, my Korean is probably the worst in L.A. There's a translator that we're assigned with. There you go. Yeah. Um, but then, so it's kind of like a like the the fans fund the trip type deal. Well, kind of. The idea is that 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 basically we have to we would have to get like a minimum number of people, which is like fifteen to twenty people who would commit to this. And by getting 20 people, that would basically pay for yours and I's trip. So we'd get a free trip to Korea out of it if we can get. It's, but, like a, it's basically like a pr- Korea bringer show. <laughs> <laughs> if we bring a certain is that amount of the people. Way, that's what it is? That's the way I look at it. It's a bringer show. It's a bringer show. Where, so they have to sell the tickets. Well, no, we, we basically are like, we're selling the tickets. We're and then selling we, the tickets. And then we get to perform, but it would be with... It would be with our scissor siblings. We would be the tour guides. We'd be performing all week because... For them. Hey, guys, so we're going to go to this monument hey now. Hey, guys, we're going to eat breakfast now. Yeah, we're going to go to the temple, the Buddhist temple. That's Come on, guys. That's literally what we'd be doing. Yeah. We, we would be your tour guides. So it's a weird it's a weird idea. But Steve and I, we talked about, we're definitely into something. We want to do crazy out there things that no other podcasts are doing. What other podcasts have ever gone on a international trip with... Their listeners or viewers. I can't I think of I one. I can't think of one. The mo- the craziest thing I've heard is like a cruise. Like the Impractical Jokers have a cruise that you go on. Yeah. And that, but that's like a boat. This is literally in another country. You're flying How somewhere. How long is that flight? One, uh, eighteen I, hours. I don't know. The trip would be one week long though. So we would do content out there as well. Oh, we'd do multiple episodes. Scissor Bros. We could Korea. log all the stuff there over in the. Yeah. 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 We could do ones that were in the hotel, in the airplane, all oh, that. Yeah. yeah. Go to the Buddhist temples. Yes. All that. Yeah. Wouldn't I that be mean, insane? That would be insanity. <laughs> insane. Well, what do you guys think? Another thing to comment below i know we're asking you to comment a lot but yeah whatever well, who is this co- i mean they hit you up out of the blue we get hit up because we we put ourselves out there so much so they emails like the scissor bros email and stuff like that okay and i checked them out i had a zoom meeting with the the lady she was very nice yeah yeah okay that's cool i mean comment below if you want to see it go down tell us your thoughts yeah yeah okay so, we are going to do a challenge that I'm very, very excited about. Yeah, brother. Go ahead. You set it up. But before we get into the challenge, <coughs> we're going to do a song to close out the episode. Before, well, it's not, not a close, but it's, a, it's like a soft close because we're going to end with the challenge. Okay. Hmm. And then, you want to play? You play this one. Let me sing this one. You, you yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, so this is... I'm going to explain the challenge now, and then we'll do the song. And then we'll cut to the, the challenge. That makes sense? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, the challenge, we've been asked for a bit to try to do something like this. It's obviously... it's This one's harder to film. Uh, that's why sometimes we end up just doing things inside the studio. We're going out of our way to make this happen. We're going to do... An ice bath challenge. Well, what are the logistics with that? We're going inside. I have a little tub inside my bathroom, inside my place. Steve and I are both going to get inside the tub at the same time. We're going to see how long we can stay inside of this tub. The loser... Naked? In swim trunks. It's on YouTube. Anyway. (laughs) I had to ask about the naked, didn't you? I had to ask if we were going to be nut to nut in the, in the tub to I tub. I didn't say nut to nut. Oh, you thought of it. No, you didn't. Yeah, you, you did. You can't read my mind. You thought of us Let's scissoring keep going. in a tub No, I didn't say it. See, you're coming challenge. up with all that. Let's keep That's going on with the details of, of the challenge. Go ahead. The first so how person, do you do it? The first person to tap out of the ice bath will obviously get out of the tub, but then they will have to submerge themselves. The loser has to submerge themselves underwater for as long as they can hold their breath. As long as they can hold their breath. It has to be at least 30 seconds. Is this safe, like, as far as hypothermia and all this stuff? We're not going to get hypothermia. No, I'm just I'm just throwing it out there. Because well, I'm not good with cold, you know what I mean? But I'm going to do it. Well, you said you're warm, so it's working out real well today for you, isn't it? And that's why this works out, because it's the yin and the yang. 
Okay. Okay. I, I got. I'm ready. You ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's go into this song. Let's do hey, a little yeah. song. Then we'll get into the challenge, baby. Oh, what the frick? Power outage. Dude, everything's still recording, right? Do you uh, see? Do you see the red on yours? Yes. Dude, legit, legit power outage right now. Yes. My Zoom and is... And it literally went right after... That was the timing of it. Dude, my Zoom is still recording this. This is insane. We did not plan this, guys. No, no, no. I mean... Oh. Whoa. It just... That was Dude, crazy. power outage... While we were recording, literally everything went out in here, but we still... Everything kept recording. I always have a backup batteries in my Zoom. Well, that's smart. For this exact reason. And it happened. And it happened. Because guess what? Had I not had backup batteries, we would have lost the entire podcast. What? Yep. No. That's how Zooms work. They don't have... Because I have the same recorder. That's why I always tell you to keep batteries in there. That's why... Oh, I, that, I need to put some in tonight. No, I put them in your Zoom. You did that yes, for me? Yes, yes. In case something it's, like this yes. happened. Because so, this just happened. Yeah, I know. It just happened. It's never happened before. It really blacked out. Yeah. I've never seen this. Dude, this we had a blackout bl during. That's got to be one of the first times that's happened. A blackout on a podcast. Has that ever happened on the other podcast? No. This I've is never, the first time. The first time. So you're saying if you didn't have backup event, batteries for the Zoom. We would have lost all the H6, audio. All the audio we would have lost. We would have lost a whole episode. Yep. That would have been a freaking nightmare. I know. You want to play something on the keyboard? Oh, I got a song idea. Five, four, three, two, one, one, one. Blackout. Uh, uh, the room had a blackout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God we had the Zoom. We were headed for some doom. We could have erased. Mm, all the footage The footage, my friend Blackout uh, Blackout We could've Wasted the whole episode It's time to hit the road All our patrons uh, Get us to Korea But it would've been Pointless if this Episode got erased Blackout. Uh, this was a blackout. We, 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 we had, had a blackout. blackout. Oh, we uh, had a blackout. This whole thing could have been erased. Just in case we had an extra memory card and oh, we had a blackout. blackout. Oh, 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 we, we had, had a blackout. blackout. It, it could have, it oh. could have been bad. <laughs> oh, oh, we had, had a blackout. <laughs> it was a real blackout. No room to back out. Thanks for subscribing. All right, see you at the challenge. All right, we're going to load up the bath now with the ice. There's already water in here. We got six 10 pound bags of ice. That should be plenty for this. That's 60 pounds of ice. Above the silver. All right, here we go. 
in five, four, four three, two, one. Oh my goodness. No! Oh, I gotta put my legs this way. To bed. Okay, I'm fully submerged. Oh, oh shit. Oh, this is rough. This is pretty rough. Just deep breathe so we don't pass out. Oh, it's cold, man. It's very cold. It's very, very, very cold. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah, push down. Push down. Push down. I like what you did right there. Do it again. What if I pee? I don't care. You want to pee together? No. What? This <laughs> is. This is 60 pounds of ice that we're in right now. It's everything in my fiber to not want to pop out of this right now. This is painful. How do how does how do people do this for that long? I mean just What? You're crazy, man. So, patreon.com slash scissorbros, youtube.com slash scissorbros. Now, if you like this kind of content. Uh, dude, I might have to tap out of this one. Uh, fuck. I gotta lower my knee so people don't say. Move, oh! Move, move your thigh. I'm saying I need to lower it. I can't move. move anything. It's frozen. I'm putting But this look, is the camera capturing this? Steve, there's no water. Okay, it's fine. There's no water. Oh. Yeah. Dude, I might have to. This, you might win this one. Ah! What are you feeling right now? No, I just I can't feel anything. I feel like I'm in. No, don't touch me. You can't touch. That's a disqual. No, you can't touch. You can't what, touch. What if I pee on? Uh, I feel like I'm in Alaska. Am I allowed to pee on you? I'll pee back too. You want to do that game? Let's do the game. No, no, you want to no. do the pee game? Don't. If you pee on me, I'll pee on you, but don't, you better not do it. You want to do the pee game? I don't want to play the pee game. I'm doing it right now. Don't lie to me. You want to do the pee game? Don't lie to me, dude. We need warmth. Let's do it together. Steve. Let's, come on, dude. That's what's going to drain. Come on. I'll be in your pee, right? Let's pee together. Five. I can't just pee just on command like that in I five could. seconds. You could pee right now. Yeah. No, you can't. Is that, what is that, a, a challenge within the challenge? Yeah, it's a challenge within the challenge. Okay. You're not actually peeing, are you? Steve, if you're peeing, I'm going to be so mad, dude. The water is draining a little bit. That's what is happening right now. Do you feel the warmth? Did you really pee? Steve, did you really pee? Did you really pee? You got to tell me. Did you pee? You didn't feel nothing. So, um, if you like this kind of content, uh, comment below. Actually, I can't feel anything. It's so numb. You didn't pee, did you? No, come on, dude. Why would I do that? Um, so, what, what, if we, what, what, if, what if we both just stay in here? What if I told you I peed just now? Did you just pee? Did you? No, look at me in the eyes. Look at me. Did you just pee? I did too. You did? But you did too. Here, we gotta turn on more cold water. No, dude, that, no! It's that's draining. not how it works. It's draining. Well, then that's the end of... Yeah, dude. And look, what the hell's this going on here, man? I can't get my... I know, head. it's okay, I'll take it. You're in, you're in, you're in. Okay, Dude, so. it's draining. We gotta figure this out. I know. Let's, uh... I mean, that... The loser has to submerge in the pee water. Here, come towards this side. Come, come towards this side. We gotta turn the water on. We're losing water. Oh. Ah! I can't. There's not enough room. Yeah, let's just. Ah, yeah. I know we don't do truces, 
But this is a... But, come on, dude. I mean, we're losing the war. Yeah, I mean... Here's a... Here's... Here could be... Here. Let's drink the, the iced pea water. I'm not drinking it. Okay. It, but we could do a facial. What do you mean? Yes, let's do a facial. Okay, so you have to dunk, submerge. Like, you go for it, like, because I don't want to headbutt you. Let's do it like that. Because, you know dude, what? I can't feel my leg. I can't. It's literally numb. You know what? I don't believe you that you actually peed. I'm just going to I'm gonna dunk my head on my own pee right now. I'm going to take the Alanis. I, I'm going to take the Alanis. You are? My foot is about to fall off. Okay. Shake out. Look at you me. would you would keep going, wouldn't you? If I didn't take the L. Shake my hand, motherfucker. Shake my hand. Would you really shake my hand? You been you win all of them. Give me one. I know, but I don't. I can't feel my legs, bro. I can't either. All shake right. my hand. Rick. Shake my hand. Look how red I am. I know. Okay, dude. I'll dunk my head in the. I'll yes. dunk my head in the Yes. Part. Ah. Okay, let me okay, go. You get, get out. out. You can get out. Oh, God. oh I can't feel nothing. Okay. Okay. Can I can I can I watch you though? Yeah, but you're out of frame. Here, just ready? Yeah. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Five, four, three, two, five, four, three, two, one. Dunk. That's my cold pee. You didn't really do it, did you? Yes, I did. Are you serious? Thanks for tuning in. Are you dead? It's called the cold ice cube swim. Steve, you didn't actually pee in the water, did you? Yeah, I did. I told you I did. I peed too, but I thought you were joking. That's no, why no, I volunteered. No, no, no. I peed. I peed. Oh, dude, I can't. Hey, you know what? I'm going to get you a towel. Thanks for tuning in. I had a great time. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, there's towels right I know, I know. Can I step on that? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. You want me to get you the towel first? Yes, please. I can't feel my back. Here, here, here. Okay. You get up first. Okay, okay. Get up. Okay. Get up. Did you really pee? Yes! You pee too, though! I know, but I thought it was my own pee. No, I pee too. <laughs> so we could name it the ice... The, the pee cube challenge. Okay, I'm getting out. But they can't see nothing. I mean, you could be fibbing, I could be fibbing. You decide. Press pause when we both did it, and then you decide if you see a little yellow in there. I can't feel my right foot. We're gonna have to I can't feel my right foot. We're gonna have to hump the shower. I can't feel my right foot. I can't feel it. Oh my god. Thank okay. you. No, you, you thanks, for, thanks for tuning thanks in, for guys. Tuning in. I can't feel my right foot. Okay, me too. Okay. Scissor Brothers! Um, hello? Is anyone still there? Is your pal Gerald and wow, I can't believe I'm not getting any residuals from the Scissor Bros album, but you know, just like everything else I don't get credit for on this show, I highly suggest you go check out our newest project. It's available for download on all platforms and you can pre order the vinyl now. There'll be links and all that shit is in the description. Hope you guys are having a good week though, you know. I've been fucking going out of my mind lately. Zannies. Baby. Little. Purples. Herbals. Sipping. Scissor. Sorry, I need to go back to giraffe rehab. I was partying like crazy with some alpaca. And those fuckers know how to get wild. Still feeling it a little bit myself right now. I feel like I'm about to start bawling out of nowhere. But that just could be my anxiety. Who knows? Anywho, hope you guys are good, and uh, thanks so much for supporting the show, and let's get the Scissor Bros album to number one on the charts. What do you say, guys? We love you, and make sure you go watch Scissor Bros Live in San Jose on April 6th. Got a doozy of a challenge planned. All right, love you guys. Bye. Off the market. Off the market